Good evening. It's me, Dora Slamchinsky. And once again, it, I, the week goes so fast, I can't even, I can't believe it even myself. But it's time once again for my message that I do where I tell a story and then I, I tell you scripture that I think it goes with uh, and like that. But anyways, this is what it is. When I was young, I don't know how old I was, I was quite young. I, I had to go and to stay at my Baba's place. Well, my mother and my father, they went on a trip with other children. Well, I don't know why I had to stay, maybe because, um, maybe I don't know what it was. Maybe there was no room for me in the car. I don't know why, or maybe because I was too young to go where they were going or whatever. Anyways. I was staying with my babas, and I was missing my mother and my father so much. And my baba, she didn't speak much English, but, and she just knew one little nursery rhyme, kind of a rhyme thing. Because every time I would say to her, Baba, will mom and dad come home today? And she would look at me and she would go put her shoulder like that, with her hand like this, and she would say, Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe rain, maybe snow. What? I'm thinking, what? Honest, I just wanted them to come home. So anyways, one, one day was another, and then another day. And, but I was expecting them. I was watching for them. And I would go to the road, and I would watch looking for the dust, you know, to see if a car was coming. And then I would come back to the house, then I would do it again. And also I was I was I was ready for them to come home. And I had my little my my clothes and I remember I was folding them always on the end of the bed. So I would be ready to put them in the suitcase when I got they got there. I was waiting. I was ready for them to come. Well, and I was doing everything that my bab, my mom told me to, to do for my baba. I was listening and I was doing it all good. I was just waiting. And again, I would say, Baba, they come today. She would say, maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe rain, maybe snow. Well, I tell you that to tell you this. <laughs> There's this scripture. You know, well, this is, I, I'm, I'm going to go here because I'm, you know, people say to me sometimes, well, Dora, you, you're such a woman of faith. I don't know. I, I'm a believer, that's for sure. Just, do, you, do you think, you know, with everything going on in the world, do you think Jesus is going to come right away? Do you think it's right now? Do you think it's really soon? Well, I just want to say, maybe yes, maybe no. Because, you know, <laughs> Matthew uh, 24, 42 says, Therefore, watch, because no one knows the hour that the Lord will return. Yes. Yes, the Bible, for us as Christians, we believe that Christ will come again because he said he will. But also, <laughs> there's another scripture that says that, that no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, or the Son of Man, Jesus, he, or, or, but only the Father. So, we don't know. But I'll tell you this. You know, I think that back when I was that little girl and I was waiting and I was watching and I had expectation. Yes, and I was excited. I wanted to see them again and I never gave up hope they were going to come. We don't give up hope. Christ will return. Also, I was ready. I was ready. My clothes were already there. I was ready. Yes, I was waiting and I was ready. And I would just say for you, <laughs> we need to be ready for Christ to come back any day because we don't know when he's coming. 
uh, for those of you who maybe uh, have not given your yourself over to Christ, maybe you don't believe yet, yet you know, <laughs> I would just encourage you to, to find out more and to find him for yourself and and to to then when you find him you will start to believe in him and remember he wants to be found by you he's waiting for you he loves you so much and lastly <laughs> i was waiting i was excited i was expecting i was ready yes i was ready but what was I doing while I was waiting? Hmm? Well, I was just following the things that my mother had taught me. And I was just following those things. Yes. So, what do we do while we wait for the Lord to come? Yes. We do the things that the Lord has taught us to do in the Bible. We are caring for one another. We're telling others about him. We're doing whatever, you know, the Lord has taught us. Yes, that's what we're doing. So, that's my word for today. Yes, it's very exciting. We live in very exciting times. God bless you, and I'll see you again soon.